Wednesday, UC Merced is hosting a safety conference featuring members of the U.S. Secret Service and the FBI. I'm Emma Aw, and tonight we are previewing the event with Police Chief Chu Her on My TV 53 News at 8. The strike is over, or is it? This has been going on between the Actors and the Writers Guild of America. The story is coming up next. Hispanic Heritage Month comes to an end with a celebration in downtown Fresno yesterday. I'm Shayla Gaitan with that story next at 8. And later, uh, next to me I heard some um, what a, sounded like an accident. I heard it before I saw it. A Fresno area lieutenant who works for the California Department of Corrections and Rehab receives CDCR's highest honor for bravery. We'll have all those stories and much more coming at you next in prime time. New, local, unique. My TV 53 News at 8 starts right now. Hope you had a good weekend. Welcome to the San Joaquin Valley's only 8 p.m. news. I am Austin Reed. Thanks for being here. It's Monday, the 25th of September. We appreciate you welcoming us into your life. Our big story is in Merced tonight, where a first of its kind event is coming to campus this week. New at 8, my TV 53's Emma Ott explains what it's all about in tonight's big story. UC Merced will be hosting an inaugural safety conference on campus this Wednesday, September 27th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The conference is open to the public and officials are looking forward to bringing the community together in a joint effort to improve campus safety. Here is Police Chief Chu Her. It's all day. Uh, we start off in the morning with uh, our keynote speaker, which is Dr. Jill uh, McCluskey out of the McCluskey Foundation. And we kick that off and then it rolls right into uh, breakout sessions. So we have um, our speakers come from a variety of backgrounds, everything from uh, some of our keynotes or, or like uh, the uh, US uh, Secret Service, the FBI, uh, other entities that are coming. We'll be talking uh, quite a bit about behavioral health, uh, threat assessment, managing you know, challenges that are coming to our communities that our communities are actually facing at this point. The goal of the conference is to improve the community's knowledge and threat assessments, competency level, and collaborative skills to improve campus safety, or just safety in general. The, co the conference plans to accomplish this by inviting meaningful experts in this field to address current topics and solutions. We're hoping that when people leave this conference, they have picked up resources, picked up ideas, picked up information that they can turn right around and use in their processes in their areas of expertise. Keynote speaker Jill McCluskey from the Lauren McCluskey Foundation will be there to boost campus safety by sharing her daughter's story. Jill's daughter Lauren was murdered on campus at the University of Utah in 2018 by her former boyfriend. After Lauren realized her boyfriend might be dangerous, she contacted campus police and pleaded for help as she was stalked. Unfortunately, no one listened and Lauren was failed by the institution, resulting in her death. Since then, her parents created the Lauren McCluskey Foundation to raise awareness about the impact of dating violence and stalking, especially on school campuses. Jill will be there to speak about the importance of responding to a person that is asking for help. So this process started uh, back in about February of this year. We were looking at how we, we would do behavioral threat assessment training and we looked at how we've done it in the past, and we looked at what we would, would be able to do that's new, that's innovative, that's that's more engaging. It will be held at the UC Merced Conference Center for no cost, and you can check out the UC Merced website for more details. The My TV 53 team will also be there to catch it all, so if you don't get the chance to make it out there, make sure you tune in Wednesday night for an event you don't want to miss. I'm Emma Ott with My TV 53 News at 8. Very important event to do, especially in 2023. Emma, thank you. Well, the Merced County Sheriff's Office.